Hey, this is Alex Kasinyak, and I just wanted to go over the 3D scene. So what the 3D scene is, uh, is this window in the center here. So it displays your 3D objects and scene. So we have the cube here, the camera, and the light. So this is probably the single most important feature of Blender. It's where you do all your modeling, object placement, and scene setup. So it's all done in the 3D view. So the most important thing to know is actually how to navigate around in this. So I just want to explain the basic operations. Okay, so what we have is zooming, rotating, and panning. That's the three main things that you're actually going to use to navigate around in this. So to zoom, uh, you actually want to just use the middle mouse button. And for a lot of these operations, it's involving the middle mouse button. So just get used to that. And um, what you do to zoom is actually just scroll the middle mouse button. So just the mouse wheel. So as you can see, I'm just zooming in and out of my scene by scrolling the mouse wheel. It's pretty simple. And now for rotating. So just tracking around your scene. Uh, you actually want to use the middle mouse button, but instead of scrolling it, you actually want to click it. So click it down and then drag. And that will give you your rotating operation right there. And you can just rotate around this at any angle. So now we have our zooming and rotating. So we already got some good stuff here, but to actually add to this and give us a little bit more control, we want to pan. So moving around the object in a kind of 2D way. Uh, what you want to do to pan is actually do the same thing as rotating, but instead you want to hold down shift, so the shift key. So you hold down shift and then you drag with the middle mouse button and you get this kind of panning motion. So that's the three main operations. You can zoom, you can rotate around, and you can pan over. So if you want to get a different angle. So with those options you should be able to get some decent angles on any part of your 3D scene. So you should be able to navigate everywhere in a perspective view. But what about an orthographic view? So like a 2D view, like front, side, and top. Well, all of the options for this are located on the number pad, so all the shortcuts. And don't get it confused with the numbers at the top of your keyboard, those are just for layers. So if you accidentally happen to press one of those, like 5, um, everything will disappear. But to get back you just want to press 1. So, moving on to the actual shortcuts for the view. So, um, front, side, and top view would be the main ones. So to go into front view, you actually want to press 1 on the number pad. So 1 right here. Oh, and I should mention that there's also a view option, or view menu right here. So you just go down to here and you can access all the views right here, if you don't have a number pad or you just want to use this. So it's all right there. But I mean, I encourage you to actually get familiar with the number pad because it really increases your workflow and productivity and all of that stuff. So, anyways. The front view is one on your number pad, so press one and it gets you into front view. Now you might notice that mine's not a perfect orthographic view, it's kind of a perspective mixed with an orthographic, it's kind of weird. So what's actually happened is it's in a perspective view, but you can toggle in and out of orthographic and perspective, but it's still at a front view. Um, and to do this we actually can press five. So five toggles in and out of perspective and orthographic. So now it's a fully orthographic view, so straight on. Um, so that is front view. Now for side view, you actually want to press 3. So once you press 3, it'll go into a side view. Also a good thing to note is that it indicates what you're on right at the top here, so it says right orthographic, So which kind of means side. And if I press 1, it'll say front orthographic. Okay, so for top, you actually want to press 7 and it will say top orthographic up here. So we're right on the top view right now. So that kind of covers the basics, but you can also hold down the control key. So say we're in front and we actually want to go to the back of the object. So we kind of want to get around it. The easiest way to do that is just to press control or hold down control and press one of the view keys. So say front, so one. So hold down control and press one. It'll then flip it around to the back of the object, and it will work for any one of the views. So you can hold control down and press 7, it'll get you the bottom, 
and the other side, so the left side, if you press 3. So it says left orth orthographic right up here. Okay, there's actually one more important view, and that would be the camera view. So, to get into the camera view, you actually want to press 0 on your number pad, so it's the biggest actually key there. So once you press 0, you go into this kind of view with this kind of uh, indicated box, and you'll see your view from the camera, obviously. So it's an essential view because, I mean, it's the view of the final image. It's the view that it will be rendered in. So, I mean, you always have to know how to get there. And, of course, it's on the menu as well, so camera. And another thing to note is actually that the uh, shortcuts are located right across from everything on the menus. So pretty much everything that you see on the menus you'll be able to find a shortcut for. So camera, number pad 1, uh, etc. So it's all there. And that is pretty much the views and the 3D view.